Welcome to my channel Better Sleep Positioning According to Markham, most people with heart failure figure out their best sleep position through trial and error. Here are 5 things to try if you have heart failure and are struggling to get a good night's sleep. 1. Get screened for sleep apnea. In cases of OSA, a continuous positive airway pressure CPAP, machine or other treatment may be prescribed. In some of the patients who have this CPAP treatment, we see improvement of the ejection fraction, which is the pumping function of the heart, and there's even some data to support that arrhythmias may be decreased by this intervention as well, says Markham. 2. Sleep on your side. If you have sleep apnea, side sleeping can be beneficial for those who don't tolerate CPAP, says Kayet. In heart failure patients, lateral sleep positions on the side, left or right, can often decrease sleep apnea. A bit of controversy surrounds whether the left or right side is best, says Kayet. If you have an implanted defibrillator, sleep on the opposite side. Most defibrillators are implanted on the left side, so sleeping on the right side may feel more comfortable. If they don't have an implant, sometimes the left side is more comfortable because, just like in pregnancy, it relieves the pressure off the IVC, the body's largest vein, which is on the right, says Kayet. 3. Elevate the head of your bed. Some people need more pillows or need to elevate the head of the bed just in order to sleep, says Markham. Sleeping on an incline can reduce the anatomical and volume overload of lung congestion, including orthopnea and paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. Medicare Part B covers the rental or purchase of adjustable hospital beds provided your doctor prescribes the equipment as medically necessary. Your 20% copay and deductible apply. Extra pillows also work, but your entire back, along with your head, needs to be elevated. 4. Elevate your feet. If you have edema in your legs or feet, you may find it comfortable to put pillows under your legs to reduce the swelling, says Markham. Wearing compression socks at night may also help. 5. Avoid sleeping flat on your back, unless you have a CPAP machine. Once the patient gets on CPAP, they can sleep in any position they want because the machine prevents sleep apnea, says Kayet. Regardless of sleep position, if you want to get a better night's sleep with heart failure or any chronic condition, the main focus should be on good sleep hygiene, says Kayet. He recommends maintaining a regular sleep and wake time, avoiding alcohol and caffeine before bedtime, both of which can disrupt sleep, and staying off electronic devices several hours prior to sleep, which can make it more difficult to fall asleep. Thanks for watching subscribe for more videos.